Hi guys! It is snowing again here in the end times on this chilly uh, midwinter night in mid-November. It is Wednesday night, November 16th, 2022. And uh, guys, I, I just have I just have to get this shit off my chest. I've I've had this rant before, but uh, several of you including my own dear sweet sister, <clears throat> sending me these stories about the latest bullshit uh, about declining sperm counts, uh, threatening the survival of the human race. I, I, you know, come on. I, I've been hearing this fucking bullshit, I, I, you know, pretty much my whole life. Pretty much since the day that I declined my own sperm count down to zero uh, in, in 1982. I, I, I've been hearing that this happy horse shit, that, that this fucking hopium, which is all it is, is just a, is just a ham bone hopium pipe dream uh, about how declining sperm rates are, are, are taken out of the planet. They, they were talking this shit uh, about declining sperm rates when the population of this planet was less than half of what it is now. Talking about, oh god, we're all gonna, we're all gonna go extinct. No more of these little fuckers are gonna get born. <coughs> what, what, what is it they're, they're talking about in here? Like, like uh, every time you fucking come, every time a, a dude comes, like 100 million 100 million uh, 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 of these little uh, of these little fuckers kind of come pouring out of the end of your dick. So it, it, we have a 50 percent decline in sperm counts. Wow, Th that means only only 50 million, 50 million. Uh, all it takes is one of these fuckers, one of them. All it fucking takes is one. All right. Pull your head out of your ass, people, right now, every time a dude fucking jacks off, he's spilling 50 million, he, he, he's spilling the fucking, more than the population of California he gets spilled on the ground uh, every time uh, some horny dude jacks off to fucking you porn. I ain't buying it. I, I'm, I'm not buying this shit for a fucking minute. A uh, threat to to the fucking survival of the human race. I wish, man. I fucking wish. Uh, you know, it's it's the same thing. Uh, you know about this goddamn declining birth rate. It is right up there with the declining sperm rate. The, the, you know that the fucking the fucking birth rate on this planet started declining in the 1960s, and I guess the fucking sperm rate started declining on this goddamn planet back in the 1960s, and we have twice, more than twice as many fucking people on the planet than we did uh, b before the sperm counts and birth rates started fucking declining. I you know? Good fucking God! Make make no uh, mistake about it. The the biggest threat to the survival of the human race is not the the failure uh, of sperm uh, to impregnate women. It, it, it's the fucking success. And, and until we get the fucking sperm count down to zero. Uh, we have an immediate existential threat to the human race, and much more importantly, an existential threat to every other uh, earthling we share the, the goddamn planet with. It, it, it is sperm. It is human sperm. It, it is the biggest threat to this fucking planet. Uh, which is just one reason that I took my own fucking sperm count uh, from 100 million down to zero. Took about 20 fucking minutes. Took about 20 fucking minutes 
a, a, it costs like $200 in 1982 to, to, to take out about 100 million of those little fuckers. Uh, you know, I get so sick and tired of this. Every time I read this, this goddamn hopium, uh, you know, it's kind of like the same bullshit with what, like these uh, antibiotic resistant bacteria, uh, you know, being some fucking uh, existential uh, threat to the human race. Now, I've been hearing this shit. Uh, half my fucking life, and 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 what? Ever since the these the, the, these antibiotic resistant bacteria uh, started uh, cropping up, the fucking population of this planet has more than doubled. And, you know, every time I read about some new fucking plague, Ebola. Uh, Marburg, whatever the fuck, and of course, don't forget Corona Panic. Uh, you, you know, I get this little flurry of, of, of hopium. I, I turn into a goddamn apocalyptimist for about five fucking minutes, uh, thinking, thank God uh, Mother Nature has come up with something, some sort of fucking uh, natural uh, you know, natural chemotherapy to, to, to nip this little problem in the fucking bud. Uh, you go, Mother Nature, but uh, it, it just ain't working, girl. You need to try a little bit harder. You need to take these fucking sperm counts down to zero. Uh, you, you need to send these goddamn uh, <clears throat> antibiotic-resistant bacteria through the fucking roof, you need to come up, you know, with some real fucking uh, pandemic. Uh, what are we, 0.2% of the fucking planet? Uh, come on. Can't we, do, can't we do better than this? It, 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 no excuse. Uh, what a shit job. Mother Nature. So anyway, you know, it's like every time I fucking open my email, here's somebody else sending me, and I don't really know what you guys, when when you guys are sending me versions of this article, uh, and there's a, they're all over the mainstream media the past few days about some new study. I don't know exactly what your point is by sending it to me. I, 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 I don't know what the fuck do you think uh, or, uh, my, my comment is going to be. Uh, my, my comment is it's fucking horseshit. So here I am over, you know, with these little limp dick lefties. Speaking of declining sperm counts. Uh <clears throat> You know, over here, which one is this? I always get common dreams, and this is common dreams. These fucking little limp dick lefties. New study warns declining sperm counts, quote, could threaten mankind's survival. Yes, all right. So let's see how... How are the little limp dick lefties playing up this story? You know, uh, the same little limp dick lefties, you know, whining about uh, the, the, you know, Amazon deforestation and, and climate change and, and, and all of the usual stuff. I, I, I've never understood, you know, these little fucking limp dick lefties, the little mainstream environmentalists, they, they sit there and they whine uh, uh, about all of this shit that, that humans are causing. And, and then we finally come up with a ray of, uh, with a ray of, uh, with a ray of uh, uh, hope, with a fucking ray of hope uh, that we're going to do something uh, about Amazon deforestation and climate change and biodiversity loss and, and all the rest of it. And, and that's to threaten the survival of the human fucking race. There, there is one fucking solution. Take the sperm counts down to zero. Amazon deforestation will be solved 
overnight. Okay, the sixth mass extinction could be averted by taking sperm counts down to zero. Well, we're halfway there, guys. Well, we're from 100 million down to 50 million. And so maybe in another 50 fucking years, uh, like we're still going to be around uh, in another 50 years. You know? Maybe 50 fucking years, uh, there's, there's going to be one man, one woman left on this goddamn planet. There's going to be one fucking sperm cell left in that motherfucker's dick. One fucking sperm cell. They're going to be the last two humans on the fucking planet. There's going to be one fucking sperm cell between the two of them. And, and, and the fucking bitch is going to get pregnant. You know, it, it, it's kind of like buying lottery tickets. I actually did this one time. I went out and bought 200 lottery tickets, and I won 100 lottery tickets. And then I bought the 100, and I won 50. You see what I'm saying? And, and I got down to the last two fucking dollars. Anyway, that, that's, you know, that, that's what it is. It, it's sperm counts are, are, are fucking buying lottery tickets. Uh, 50 million uh, of, uh, of these motherfuckers. Uh, all it takes is one. All right, take it away, limp dick lefties. While it may sound like a plot element from a dystopian novel, how about a utopian novel? An alarming study published on Tuesday found that worldwide sperm concentrations and counts Sperm concentrations and counts have fallen by more than half since the 1970s, an accelerating crisis that experts say could pose an existential threat to humanity if not promptly addressed. Published by an international team of researchers in Human Reproduction Update, the study analyzed data from 57,000 men in 53 countries with results suggesting that average global sperm concentration declined from an estimated 101 million per milliliter in 1973 to 49 million in 2018 a drop of 51.6%, while total sperm counts decreased by 62.3% of the same period. Not sure what the difference between a sperm concentration and a sperm count is, and not exactly sure how you count 101 million sperm. This is the other thing. I don't believe this fucking thing, you know, for one fucking minute, that in 1973, that somebody was combing through, you know, some guy's jism, counting 101, 101 million sperm per milliliter. Is milliliter one one thousandth of a liter, you know, pretty much just, a, you know, an ejaculation. The new paper updates and enhances previous research that was limited in scope to North America, Europe, and Australia. But the new paper found that for the first time, yeah, right, men in Africa, Asia, and Latin America are experiencing similar sperm declines. Yeah, fucking right. Africa. In Asia, uh, fuck, fucking Africa. You trying to tell me? Uh, take a fucking walk around Africa. Go look at any motherfucking YouTube video out there uh, about these 22 million uh, kids getting ready to starve to death. These fucking little kids who should never have been born, uh, but because their horny fucking uh, fathers. 
uh, just can't, they just can't stop it. They can't fucking help themselves. You know, well, what is the population of Africans uh, under, under the age of 15? It, it, good God, it, it's uh, the percentage of, uh, you know, under the age of 15. There is no fucking evidence, no fucking evidence that there's any declining sperm or rates in fucking Africa and not and, and, and I would throw Asia and Latin America in there too. Uh, show me the fucking evidence. Uh, but I, I, I'm not swallowing this fucking horse shit for one fucking minute. Bullshit. It's fake news. And even if it is true, it's 49 million. Uh, yeah, right. Perhaps, most alarmingly, the researchers reported an accelerating rate of decrease. Yes. With sperm concentrations falling by 2.64% annually since the year 2000. Hallelujah. Hegel Levine, Hegel Levine of the Hebrew University of Jerusalem's Hadassah Brown School of Public Health, a leader of the author of the 2017 and 2022 studies, likened their findings to a canary in a coal mine. Quote, uh, I guess this is his tweet. Yeah, I guess this was this dude's tweet. Sperm counts worldwide have halved over the past five decades, and the decline is gaining pace. We have a serious problem on our hands that, if not mitigated, could threaten mankind's survival. Yes, sperm counts worldwide are falling even faster than we thought. Researchers warn of a global fertility crisis that looks like a pandemic as sperm counts drop sharply around the world. Yes. Quoting this dude, quote, we have a serious problem on our hands. No, the problem is not on our hands. The problem is in women's pussies. If it was on our hands, it wouldn't be that much of a problem. So we don't have a problem on our hands. The problem of sperm is in women's pussies. All right, but anyway, we have a serious problem on our hands that, if not mitigated, could threaten mankind's survival. We urgently call for global action to promote healthier environments for all species. There you go. I, I, I am totally with this dude. I am totally with this dude as to urgently call for global action to promote healthier environments for all species. What is the number one way, the number one, the only way Okay, to promote, wait, to promote healthier environments for all species, that is to take human sperm counts from 49 million to zero, and you will promote healthier environments for all species. So what is causing sperm counts to perilously plummet? Now this one, I, I have no fucking idea what this dude is talking about. That the primary suspect is a, mo is a mother's exposure, a mother's exposure to man-made chemicals during pregnancy with plasticizers, pesticides, herbicides, heavy metals, toxic gases and air pollution to believe to be among the chief culprits. So I guess what they're saying is that 
these lower sperm counts, you're born with them, is what they're saying, that it's not the men themselves. Uh, th th that whole part's weird. I don't, I, I don't fucking uh, uh, get what all that means. It, doesn't, it just doesn't make any sense to me, but, uh, but, but, but who the fuck knows. All right, quoting, quoting him more. Quote, we also know exposure in adult life, okay, there we go, uh, exposure in adult life and lifestyle choices can be associated with poor sperm count. There you go. Lifestyle choices. I made the fucking lifestyle choice at age 22, all right, to uh, take my sperm count from 100 million to zero. That was the number one life lifestyle choice that I have made in 63 years, the number one best lifestyle choice that I have ever made, bar none, is to reduce my sperm count from 100 million to zero, as I say, takes about 20 minutes. And that is what, that is my virtue signaling of the mother of all virtue signalings. Uh, um, <laughs> I love this. Study co-author Shanna Swan uh, blah, 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 author of Countdown, How Our Modern World is Threatening Sperm Counts, Altering Male and Female Reproductive Development, and Imperiling the Future of the Human Race, said that the paper's findings, quote, are consistent with adverse trends in other men's health outcomes, such as testicular cancer, hormonal disruption and genital birth defects as well as well as declines in female reproductive health. This clearly cannot continue unchecked, she asserted. Yes, studies have also shown a steady decline in testosterone levels during the uh, the 21st century, that's a whole nother rant. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to get into that uh, about the obvious uh, decline in, uh, in, in in testosterone in uh, boys being born in the 21st century. I've never seen such a bunch of fucking little pussies as these uh, youngsters. Uh, what a bunch of fucking pussies we're raising. Maybe this is the reason. You know, when, when did this fucking, when did this planet turn into such a bunch of fucking pussies? I was asking this question recently. You know, what the fuck? We're, we're a bunch of fucking pussies. We're a bunch of fucking limp dick pussies. And it's time for us to fucking go. Anyway, so uh, for all of you sending me that article, uh, that was my there. There's my rant. Uh, three cheers for declining sperm counts, and uh, throw in the damn uh, antibiotic resistant uh, bacteria. And, and the fucking uh, future plagues. Bring them on. Oh, well. I need to go watch a Netflix comedy. My guys.